My next guest co-stars on the Fox show, Greg the Bunny. Please welcome the very funny Sarah Silverman. How have you been? It's been a while since we've seen you. I know. Actually, I haven't been here since uh, before the, you know, September 11th and right. the attacks and everything. So devastating. Uh... I don't think anyone, like, it's, it was so, uh, it's such a helpless feeling, you know. You don't, uh, I don't think anyone's really fully digested it completely. Mm -hmm. And what do you do, you know? Hard to know, um, yeah. I'll tell you what I did, actually. I, I bought uh, domain names. You know, I got a OsamaBinLaden.com, OsamaBinLaden.net, OsamaBinLaden.org at Yahoo. So you, like, registered to own all of those? Yeah, and then who's he got to come to? Big S. <laughs> well, guess what, Conan? It's not for sale. <laughs> You're gonna... I want him to have to be Osama One. <laughs> and then he's laughing last. America. Yeah, right. America. You'll show him. <laughs> now, how did you... I, you know what? I've known you for a while, but I never asked you how you became a comedian. Like, how do you actually... What your decision process was? I, guess, I think, like, with anybody, it's... Uh, I think uh, dysfunctions... A set of dysfunctions that make a formula that drive you to be whatever you want to be. I, mm -hmm. I think comedians is mostly like any kind of form of humiliation. Right. You know, with me, I think I, you know, I was a bedwetter, into, well into my teens. Right. I have a lot of um, unwanted hair. Right. I had a lot to do with it. I was, right. you know, I was molested by a doctor, which is so bittersweet for a Jewish girl. <laughs> and, uh, Because the good uh -huh. thing is now in good conscience, I can do my molestation chunk, which is also um, a new serial. Right, right. I am um, <laughs> molestation chunks. Now, do you hang out with other comedians? Like a lot of comics, they, you know, they, they sort of become, it's like this fraternity, you know, of people that hang it, out together. It is. I, yeah, I definitely all hang, hang out. And uh, the other night we were... <laughs> The other night we were like getting drunk and smoking pot or whatever, and um, yeah! I, thanks. Yeah. <laughs> One guy in the audience just like woke up and was like, "What? Pot?" <laughs> but uh, I oh, so we we're really drunk or whatever, and uh, or whatever, and um, I dared my friend Ron Lynch to dip his balls in his drink, <laughs> and he wouldn't do it. And I figured out why. I think I figured out why. It's because he knew that if he put them in his drink and they floated, that we would know that his balls were a witch. <laughs> and I love that. That's the strangest thought. I love that. I love getting like into the psychology. You could figure out what he was thinking. Yeah. I bet so that's fun. exactly what he was thinking. So fun. Now you do a lot of. <laughs> You do a lot of jokes about race. You're not afraid to do jokes about race. Why do you think that is? Uh, well, I just think racial tension exists. And, you know, we can pretend that it doesn't, or we could talk about it, you know. Um, I mean, I base my stuff on facts, you know, not on, on stereotypes or anything, you know. I mean, did you know this? It is a fact. Uh, every 30 seconds in America, a person of color jumps up and down and waves their arms behind a local news reporter. And that's true. <laughs> that's true. That's a fact. <laughs> and it's amazing, you know. You've just done your research. That's yeah, yeah. Uh, but but what is amazing is uh, uh, two African American actors winning the top honors in the Oscars this year: the Academy Award Best Actress and Best Actor. Denzel, Halle Berry, yeah. 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 Good thing. Amazing. Amazing. It it's amazing, and it's just never going to happen again. And, um, you know, Halle Berry, Halle Berry was so, I thought her speech was beautiful. I thought it was so eloquent and so meaningful, and I, I do believe that she really set a precedent. You know, it was not that long ago, remember, that, you know, an African-American would get pulled over just for driving a nice car into a person and driving away, you know? <laughs> These are all very good points. <laughs> oh, that hurt. Uh, um, 
Greg the Bunny. Tell us about Greg the Bunny. This is your... Uh... It's a great show. It's funny. You know, um, I, it's a little weird. I'm, you know, I'm here because I'm supposed to... I Be mean, promoting to, Greg to the promote Bunny. Greg the Bunny. And then uh, today, I'm online. This is... This means online. Yeah, that means online. Or teasing a, butter, teasing a butterfly. <laughs> 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 I go to, I go to TV tvguide.com. Uh -huh. it, it, it wasn't on tonight. And then I, I don't think it's going to be on like next week or the next week either. They're like running like a repeat of Bernie Mac. And then I think it will be back after like three weeks or something. I don't know. I guess Fox, I know that Fox said that they're, they want it, they're trying to build an audience. So the best way to do that is to not put it on TV. Yeah, I don't, I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. Maybe either, they're but, showing it to people in private screening rooms somewhere. Yeah. Well, they're the brains. You know? <laughs> Let's talk about something. Let's talk about something. Else. You know who has a tiny vagina? <laughs> you got me. Barbie. <laughs> not, not Klaus Barbie, the infamous, <laughs> the infamous Nazi. I'm and on that at, note. <laughs> And Nazis are a-holes. I'm going to go out on a limb on that. Good. I am. But they are so cute when they're little, though. They are. Thank you very much for coming back on the program. Very Thank nice to have you. Me. Sarah Silverman, everybody. We'll take a break. We'll be right back with Christy McWilson. Stick around.